Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd. Ayyu al-Ahbab, glad tidings for the believer and especially those who pray often, who pray the obligatory duties, uh, the obligatory prayers, and the uh, extra prayers. A great ni'mah and rahmah from Allah, great blessings and mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with regards to these great acts of ibadah, of making sujood. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَا تَسْجُدُ لِلْشَمْسِ وَلَا لِلْقَمْرِ وَاسْجُدُ لِلَّهِ أَلَّذِي خَلَقُهُنَّ إِن كُنْتُمْ إِيَاهُ تَعْبُدُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that do not prostrate before the sun nor the moon, but prostrate before Allah, the one who created you. If it is Him, you truly worship. Ayyul Ahbab, as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and worshippers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we should make kathra to sujood and to encourage us and give us the glad tidings of doing these great acts of ibadah. Listen to this hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with regards to this, the person who makes kathra to sujood. عن ثوبان مولى رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال رضي الله تعالى عنه قال سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول عليك بكثرة السجود فإنك لن تسجد لله سجدة إلا رفعك الله رفق الله بها درجة وحتى عنك بها خطية رواه مسلم. In this hadith in Sahih Muslim أي الأحباب the hadith of Thoban the freed slave of the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم رضي الله تعالى عنه he said that the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said or that he heard the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saying, it's upon you to make a lot of prostration. For verily, you do not make one prostration to Allah, except that Allah raises you a darajah. He raises you a level and that he ru- removes from you a sin. And this is collected in Sahih Muslim. Ayyul Ahbab, who from amongst us can afford not to have sins forgiven and not to, ha- to be raised darajat in the law Azza wa Jal. So I'm encouraging myself and encouraging you to be conscious of this and practice this beautiful act of ibadah. That sujood is for Allah alone only. We only prostrate to Allah Azza wa Jal. And that we should do this bi kathra. Make sujood, making extra salat to to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and prostrating on your face before your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala begging him for guidance begging him for forgiveness begging him for ikhlas sincerity and begging him for thabat ala sunnah sunnah to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so asking Allah for sincerity asking him for firmness upon the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because we take this for granted often ayyul ahbab And we don't realize the reward that every time we make sujood, if it's sincere and if it is not just wasted, then perhaps your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala is raising you darajat. And perhaps he's forgiving you some of those sins that we all commit. Because the Prophet said, كُلُّ إِبْنُ آدَمْ خَطَّ 
All the children of Adam make mistakes, they make sins. And the best of those who sin are those who repent. So Ayyul Ahbab, make repentance often, make sujood often, seek forgiveness from Allah often. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.